Is Marvel getting desperate? Let's go and talk about it. Excuse me, I'm Eric Lentra. Charles Xavier. Go f yourself. Hey, welcome back, you beautiful people, to another episode on The Muggsy Show. And remember, if you want more movie content just like this, you should drop a like, subscribe, and have that bell on. So we just had our final trailer for the Marvels, and it feels like Marvel Studios is getting a little desperate with what they're showing in this trailer. So before we go right into that, let's go ahead and talk about the projection numbers for the Marvels. So as of right now, the Marvels is projected to make $140 million worldwide. And just a few weeks ago, it was projected to make $80 million in the domestic box office. And as of right now, they're projecting this film to make about $50 to $60 million, getting close to matching what The Flash made on the opening box office weekend. And we all know how that ended for The Flash when it comes to the box office run, and it wasn't too good. Now, the Marvel's budget was at $250 million, and as of right now, it looks like the Marvels might break even. And when it comes to Marvel Studios and their films, that doesn't look too good. And now let's get into the trailer and talk about why Marvel feels a little desperate when it comes to the box office sales and what they're revealing. And to be honest, this might be possible spoilers, so just a heads up. Now let's talk about the first teaser with Monica Rambeau talking about a different reality being broken into their universe. She tore a hole in space. There's a different reality leading into ours. And that line right there, it's already telling us in this film that someone's going to show up from a different universe. Well, that's when we go to the end of the trailer when Nick Fury says they're here. And then we get the shot of the Bifrost going into the ship and you see someone walking by Monica Rambeau. Now you can see on the screenshot, you see the character has a white and red dress. And a lot of people are thinking it's Storm from the X-Men universe. And let's go ahead and zoom in and you can see the X-Men logo on that screen. And this is where I think Marvel Studios is feeling the pressure from the box office sales. From what I remember, I have never seen a post credit scene be teased in the trailer. And to be completely honest, I do believe there's going to be an X-Men character in this film. And it's not just by the teaser of the trailer. We actually got the leaked soundtrack for the Marvels and they showed two theme songs from the X-Men. But guys, there it is. Let me know in the comment section, how do you feel about this? And if it is an X-Men character, who do you think is going to be in that post credit scene? And again, if you want more movie content just like this, make sure you drop a like, subscribe and have that bell on. I'll catch you on the next one. You guys take care. Much love. Peace out.